Justice Stephen Breyer is planning to step down. KPX 5's Ann Makovic is live with more on that and his ties to the Bay Area. Ann. Yeah, the justice was born in San Francisco. He grew up in San Francisco, and then he went to college at Stanford University. Let's take a live look at the Supreme Court building right now in Washington, D.C. His resignation is going to give President Biden an opening to nominate a new justice, and it is poised to be an historic choice. But back to Justice Breyer. He's 83 years old. He's been a justice since 94, appointed by President Clinton. Progressives have been urging him to step down since President Biden has assumed office so Biden could name a successor while Democrats hold that slim majority in the Senate. Now, in his 28 years, Justice Breyer has been a pragmatic force on a court that has grown increasingly conservative in recent years. And that's, of course, my object. I want to go through area after area and simply flag the kinds of truly difficult questions and what are my motives? My motives? That is Justice Breyer giving the keynote address at an event at UC Berkeley in 2015. He was born, as I mentioned, in San Francisco in 1938. His father was a lawyer who worked with the school's city's uh, Board of Education. He attended Lowell High School and studied philosophy at Stanford. His younger brother, Charles, is actually a senior judge of the U.S. District Court in San Francisco. Now, Breyer's departure isn't going to change the 6-3 conservative advantage on the court because his replacement is, of course, going to be nominated by President Biden and almost certainly confirmed by Senate Democrats. There's already plenty of conjecture about who might replace him. President Biden has pledged, though, to name the first black woman to the high court. Breyer is going to stay on the court until the end of his term. His term will officially end when his successor is confirmed. We'll be keeping an eye on it. Back to you.